Kelly's with a local real estate agent in Green Bay this morning to get some answers to some common questions. Hi, Andrew. Hi, good morning, Pete and Rachel. Well, those those big tax credits, uh, low interest rates, uh, a, a good selection are reasons why it's a good time to be looking through listing books or catalogs right now. It's a it's a great time to buy a home, and there are a few things you need to consider. Uh, before you buy a home. And I'd like to introduce you to Paul Kitzlar. He is with Kitzlar Real Estate in Swamico. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, let's start with the fact uh, you suggest hiring an agent. What do you mean by that? Correct. Hiring an agent can be in your benefit for the fact that they can listen to your specific needs and help guide you through the buying process, making things a lot easier and a lot more fun. Okay, but my question is, though, does that cost me money? It doesn't, and that's one of the best deals out there. So uh, the selling agent will be compensated by the listing broker on a commission split at closing. So there's no cost to the buyer, and the buyer is fully represented in the transaction. Okay, let's talk about getting pre-approved before we uh, even really start shopping, right? Yeah, that's really the first step. Uh, sitting down with a good local lender, somebody that you feel comfortable with, sitting down with them face-to-face -face and telling them your specific needs. They'll be able to tailor a loan program that'll uh, uh, put you on the path to success. Do you think a lot of people start that shopping first and then they find that beautiful home and oops, I can't afford it, I can't get the money for it? Exactly. It's tempting to rush out and start looking at homes right away, but really uh, doing your homework and getting pre-approved is the first step so you know that you're looking at homes that you're qualified to purchase. And finally, act soon. And the big reason for that um, are those tax credits we've been talking about uh, being offered by the federal government. If you're a first-time home buyer, um, you can get up to an $8,000 tax credit. And if you're a repeat buyer, you can get up to uh, $6,500. But in order to get those tax credits, you have to uh, buy and, and close on a home um, at a certain deadline, and those deadlines are approaching. Correct. Uh, we have to have accepted offers on homes by April 30th, so we're looking at a little less than a 90-day window uh, to get offers on homes. And as that deadline approaches, market activity is definitely going to increase. I think the cream of the crop properties will most likely be sold or have accepted offers on them by that time. Uh, so it's best to get out there, start looking now while the selection's good, and avoid that rush uh, as we get closer to that April 30th deadline. Okay, coming up, we're going to provide some tips for sellers. And the home that we're in this morning in Green Bay, it's on the market, and it can provide some good examples of um, why some sellers should make uh, necessary home improvements to make their home more marketable. So we'll be talking more about that in our next segment. Interesting.